Hello, patrons. Well, finally, I am here. I am in Kansas. So first and foremost, I want to make sure that I let you patrons know how you made this possible. Um, the last year was arguably one of the hardest in my life. Uh, the disappointment of shutting down Printerbot, um, and then the disappointment of losing my house and all that that entails, but you guys really made it possible. I am grateful to you and God, frankly, because as we uh, reviewed our finances, um, you know, being here in Kansas, we got to move residency to Kansas. And so we got to do all this financial stuff. And looking back over the last year and the crazy opportunities that came my way, the weird side jobs, uh, even just the donations from the kids, just barely put together enough money for us to get into this state, which is going to be a much cheaper place to live, frankly. Uh, already, we do like it. Um, you know, we'll always miss the beautiful weather of California, the great bike riding, the wine country, <laughs> you know, access to the Bay Area and stuff like that. But I'll tell you, the people here are extremely friendly. I do have family here, so that's already a bonus. Uh, I've already seen my two sisters. Um, I'll see my third sister and my mom shortly, and I have friends here as well. Uh, we got to spend the 4th of July with some dear friends of like 20 plus years, maybe 30, 30 years. So uh, the weather here has been fine, but here's the big news. And I've been waiting to do this video because, uh, you know, moving and finding a place to stay in this weird situation that we have with our house and the bankruptcy, the personal bankruptcy, is it's a difficult thing to navigate. So we got here and uh, immediately we, let me back up a little bit. We have been looking for an apartment for a long time. Um, it was evident uh, a few months ago, and I know I've been very quiet over the past few months. It's been very difficult, uh, just in a lot of ways, uh, the last few months. Um, so forgive me for my silence for so long, but all of the things that we've been talking about for so long are starting to happen, which is pretty exciting. We're starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Not starting, it's coming. So here's where I stand. Uh, the, the personal bankruptcy has taken longer than we expected. It entails um, them taking ownership of the house, which they've done, and then they got a buyer, uh, which on the 17th of July, we should receive some news that that sale is going through. When that sale goes through, um, maybe soon after the 17th, maybe 30 days after the 17th of July, um, it means the closing of the bankruptcy uh, court case. That's truly the end. So to uh, kind of grease the rails, we decided we're gonna get out of California probably a few weeks earlier than we had to uh, but the reason, I'm giving you detail because you're my patrons, and I know I've been silent for long enough, and I want you to know what's going on. So uh, we picked Wichita because my sister Tia lives here. My mom visits here very frequently. Tia has uh, young kids. So my dad's uh, died a few years ago, and uh, my mom is in southeast Kansas, and she visits her grandkids here often. So I'll see my mom. Um, and anyway, so we picked this for not just family and not just friends, but we found a great engineering school. Uh, there's a lot of engineering in Wichita. It is an aerospace, namely uh, planes, Airbus, Cessna, Beechcraft, a whole litany. Uh, I mean, if, if it's an airline or aircraft company in the USA, they have ties or a base of operation here in Wichita. And I am an enthusiast. I don't, I don't have a pilot's license, um, but that is a, one of my dreams to get my pilot's license. And um, I, I know that I've mentioned the uh, electric motor company that's a long-term plan. It's taken so much time um, for that to get, get going. It's not off the ground yet. But anyway, um, one of the dreams is to put electric motors in airplanes and motorcycles and boats and cars. So anyway, um, not such a bad place to live. It's also close to one of my partners in that company, Paul Holmes, uh, is the electronics expert for uh, motor controllers in cars. 
So he's in Kansas City, and that, that's close. So anyway, there's a few little connecting facts. But I asked my son, uh, what kind of school do you want to attend? He said, one that's good with baseball. And he may play some other sports, but he definitely is going to play baseball. And this, uh, this, uh, and in fact, it's not Wichita, Kansas. It's Mays, M-A-I-Z-E, Mays, Kansas. So we started looking at the good schools around here. My sister's a, a uh, teacher, and uh, we have friends that have lived here for a long time and know the good schools. So we started looking around at all the good schools, and we settled on Mays um, because of a good baseball team and a great engineering program. I may have mentioned it, but they are the first high school to build a kit plane and have it um, approved by the FAA. Uh, I forget it's an RV kit, if you're a plane enthusiast or an aircraft enthusiast. You may have heard of it. But um, so they had a strong program. When we went and we didn't tour the school yet, but we came and looked around. There's a, there's a brand new plane build sitting in their back. I, I think I have a picture of it I'll put. But they have a plane that the high school has built. There's a career center there that the kids get to participate in. So great engineering program. That's what Levi said he wanted to do, baseball and engineering. So that was influenced, and it was an extremely highly rated school. So Mays, Kansas is where today we just got the word that we have been not just approved for the apartment, but because you have to go through all your finances, but uh, we get the keys tomorrow. So I will, I will uh, today we got our electric set up and our gas set up. We get the keys tomorrow. We have a storage, because uh, it's just a little two-bedroom apartment for us and our son. Um, my college-age daughter is going to be going back to get a four-year degree. Um, same school in Joplin, Missouri, which is close. So anyway, things are starting to line up. Now, um, we, had, we had some bad news. Uh, one of my side jobs I thought was going to offer a part-time um, uh, salary. Uh, I don't know if I told you guys, but I went to Hawaii to interview with this small startup company and that looked like it was going to be very good and it totally soured um long story don't want to talk bad about anybody uh but it was a bad fit so um after one paycheck that fizzled out so i still don't know how i'm going to make a living but i it it's kind of neat because it further encourages me to go ahead and get printerbot.com back up and rolling so I'm here in Kansas. I have a place to live. I'll have an address. And that, uh, once the, uh, the uh, bankruptcy uh, comes to a close, then I'm free and clear to take this residency and start the new company and begin uh, dipping my foot back into the pool of making machines again. So that's a definite going to happen. Now, it won't be, I don't want people to think it's going to be, I'm wearing the shirt here, exactly like the old printer bot because the market has changed a lot. Uh, Make Magazine has uh, closed down. Uh, Maker Faire is no more. Uh, you know, it's a different company that's going to survive in today's market. Even just makers, that term has changed a lot. And I want to make sure that I'm doing uh, printer bot as a very, very smart business with very low overhead and I don't want to uh, have a manufacturing facility with a big staff I'm not going to do it like I, I did it and in fact the the brand will change a little bit um, but so we've already started uh, we I've started work on the website for the new printer bot um, for now there's still a lot of stuff that we can sell off so there'll be a few parts in there that if you want to pick up some cheap parts that are left over from PrinterBot, great. But that's not the business. Uh, parts for 3D printers is not the business. Um, but we have started a couple of projects and actually designed some things um, that we will start as a kind of a soft opening. And I'll tell you patrons about it first. So you'll get the first access to, or at least knowledge, of the website and the parts that you can buy but it'll be set up under uh, a real business instead of like donate for Brooks, you know, life. <laughs> it'll be like a real thing, real business um, with a shopping cart and the whole nine. Uh, so there'll be some parts available and then there'll be some kids available. So we're gonna start slow. Um, Kansas is a pretty cheap place to live. 
and I'll be able to, now I have time really freed up. I don't have to worry about the move anymore. In like two days time, all my stuff will be stowed in, in, the, in either the apartment, the garage, or a storage facility. And I will be free to uh, get back to my posts and projects on Patreon, patreon.com. So I'm gonna keep this site up, but a couple people, I did wanna say this, uh, a couple people have bowed out of their uh, you know, monthly uh, patri uh, patronage and totally fine. I have no ill feelings. I'm just so grateful for you guys making it possible for us to bridge this financial gap to get into the state. Now, the, it, it's not over yet because the business isn't open and we haven't sold, made any money <laughs> yet. Uh, but that's, that's the plan uh, to open that up. The long-term uh, plan will be to, to start the motor company, but there's a lot of, lot of stuff that needs to happen before that. So the initial endeavor will be uh, Patreon and also printerbot.com. But again, we're gonna go slow. So as we get the website opened up, I'll ask for some feedback and uh, you will have an influence on what products we pursue. Because, you know, my passion hasn't changed. Uh, I'm still extremely interested in 3D printing, and, and specifically, I'll just show my hand right now. The first thing that I'd like to do is a, uh, you know, the, the box build is all, it's dead. Not all but dead, it's dead. But here's why. As I got into that build, life just got in the way, all the bankruptcy stuff, moving, trying to sell stuff, get rid of stuff. Um, but it made me realize that, you know, that box build was just another printer. Uh, if you wanted a printer of that size, you could probably go build, not probably, you could totally go build something on your own, like a rail core or something like that, or buy a cheap printer and mod it. So I wasn't really helping anybody with that. The big goal for PrinterBot will be to offer a printer that is unique with new innovation and new, uh, I, don't, I don't wanna say technology, but um, so I've talked to Brian, I've talked to Brian Rowe, my old engineer, of course, Phil and I have been talking constantly, but also Carl. So the big goal is to bring out a printer that is um, capable of it being closed. It will have a high temp, hot end, um, even an internal heater. Um, but it'll be it'll be an expensive printer, and I just say expensive. It's not going to be a Creality printer. So the makers that are looking for cheap printers, they already have their answer. Uh, go buy a Chinese printer and then upgrade it from some US company or somebody that's doing something clever to make it a little more reliable or a little better. Now China's tech is improving and so I may use initially uh, some Chinese electronics. I uh, still am very loyal to Ubus uh, because he's doing some interesting things that I'm trying to bring into this enclosed printer that I want to do. Now it will be a kit. It's not going to be a big box that we ship. But to start a, a little slower and to get something on the market that is of real interest to us, the printer belt, while there are, there's Black Belt and White Knight and uh, another one that I saw recently, um, what, I'd, what I want to do first is uh, a little kit that allows you to add a belt to any printer. And I say any, you know, I mean some, even old printer bots. So we're going to do that first and try to get get uh, feedback for a small little kit that just adds a belt to an existing printer. And uh, the reason I think that's interesting is um, the enclosed printers that do any material is interesting. Um, something that's reliable and a real uh, printer that professionals can buy for FDM that... Um, you know, offer a reliable and really, really high quality experience. Now it doesn't, uh, you know, we'll see, we'll see. We'll probably do some kits uh, that might be aluminum extrusion. They may be a folded material and, and uh, pack like flat pack. And we do have some, you know, I'm looking at an extruder and a hot end with some added extras I'll tell you about later. Uh, as add-ons to existing printers, but I want a printer. I don't have, I mean, I had the Model 3. I gave everything away. I gave the printer belts away. I gave uh, the Model 3s away or sold them. Um, so I'm left with a, like a couple of plays 
and I need a printer that can print any material. So that's going to be a collaboration with Carl and Brian and Phil and me to do something that can print all the way up to peak reliably in a pretty large format. Um, still, maybe the box build is an indicator, but it might be slightly bigger than that. Because I think people that are uh, printing real parts that they put on real projects or prototypes, we got to get beyond PLA, got to get beyond uh, PETG and get to some of those really exotic, you know, very, very strong uh, FDM plastics like Ultum and Peak. Uh, and by the way, the aerospace industry, especially the EAA, would be interested in some of that stuff that doesn't have to have FAA uh, certification. So, and not just that, but like, uh, you know, my other uh, loves, robotics, biking, automotive. I mean, if we're going to make real parts, we got to make real parts. So that's that. But I am still passionate about education. Like this whole year, I've really uh, looked back and said, what do I really love? I love 3D printing. I love uh, machines or tools that help people make so CNC, um, I, I did love my laser cutter. I gave that to Phil. Um, so I don't have a laser cutter right now. So I'm gonna have to rebuild a little bit. And that dream that was original to Patreon, that we're gonna have a printer and a water jet and a CNC, like all of that is right on target. That's what I want to do with Patreon. So uh, expect Patreon to actually be the original goal to build machines, to get your feedback to offer parts or kits or plans or designs. Um, but I'm going to just kill all of the links that talk about the um, podcast that's going away. I'll probably dump um, the expectation of doing um, Skypes with with people while... It's fine if you want to do a Skype. I mean, I'll do Skypes. Uh, but I've been so inconsistent just due to my crazy life. Um, while I would be able to do that more now, it, it was hard to hook up the schedules and it stressed my wife out trying to <laughs> schedule these things. If you're one of the people that she was trying to schedule with, you know what I'm talking about. So I'm going to, I'm going to take that. I'm going to lower the bar on the expectations, um, for those $50 folks. And if you want to give $50, fine. Um, but if you don't, that's fine. I've had a couple of people back out and, and I just love them for supporting me this far. So I want to make sure that's clear that expectations are going down on Patreon. I'm not trying to do anything whiz bang. I'm going to make machines and projects and post the videos. And if you want to back me, great. If not, no problem. If you want to email me, great. I'm still corresponding very regularly with some people from Patreon. So I'm, I'm just so appreciative of that because it's been great to have a community of people to, to lean upon and to talk to and to share emails with. And, and you guys have been fantastic. So this is kind of that video. I've arrived. Um, here's the plans. I'm about to have an address in Kansas. Very soon I'll have a business called probably PrinterBot Labs or PrinterBot Tools. I haven't decided yet. But I'll have a printer bot dot 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 something different than PrinterBot Inc. Um, keeping the PrinterBot.com website um, and getting done with my uh, you know my two my double bankruptcy putting this year behind me and getting back to making things. So I uh, wanted to inform you patrons um, first that I'm extremely grateful and I speak for my wife and my family on you guys making it possible for me to just stay alive until. I arrive here in Kansas and it's, it's not the finish line yet. Um, you know, money is, uh, I'm, this is an appeal for money by the way, but I want you to know that like it's, it costs a lot to move, uh, from, uh, California to Kansas. And, uh, we paid our first month rent. We had that, uh, we got a little storage that's really cheap here. Um, still have one car yet to ship my 65 Gia. Uh, Volkswagen hasn't yet come. That's going to be my boy's uh, car. But so far, we've been able to hang on to the Explorer and one of my Porsches because it, it helps me rebuild my credit by leaving uh, that loan payment in place. Plus, I love that car. So I have a Boxster. So we're here with two cars, three people, one apartment, one garage, <laughs> one storage, zero jobs. So, but at least I'm here. 
So uh, that's the story, and I will keep you guys informed. Again, a heartfelt thank you, and you will be hearing more from me now that I have more time. But uh, PrinterBot will reboot in a, uh, you know, a different form, but a more focused form, a lower overhead form. And long-term, the electric motor company. But in the meantime, um, I'll be informing you on the things I'm working about, uh, working on for printerbot.com. And uh, just thank you, and I will see you soon.